recording students or any of that kind of, the world's gonna be crazy with all that stuff. All right, guys, just straight up on the middle, there's things, so just watch this stuff, it's really important. Um, you're getting closer to being good at all this stuff now. Once you do this, there's not much you guys can't do for all your other assignments and business cards and all sorts of stuff. So you want this thing, the text is all here. Text comes to you in so many different formats. Normally Microsoft Word, but in this case I've just pasted it into the internet. So this stuff, a lot of it is transferred, that stuff. So I want from there, just literally edit, just copy that. This is your text. Get used to getting text from different places because it's weird, it comes. There's double returns and there's hyphens and there's spaces and there's, your text comes in like really bad kind of ways. But you get good at it. You'll get good at playing around and using it all. But this is our text that we need. So Illustrator, like anything that I've ever done, um, just new page, download the stuff, put it into a folder. You want to keep this thing, file place, same. Gavin's the same every day. So this one. So this stuff here, I'm just going to go from the top to the bottom. It should be the right size. Yep. All good. I'll make him a bit lighter. I want you to do this certain ways as well, like always. So we'll lock him off. Make a new layer. Um, so this is the content. I'd pretty much do all this on the one layer. Layers are completely up to you guys, how you think contest. How you think it works, but this is pretty much just one layer. Right, so this stuff you can do half of this is just really simple. I'm not going to do all this because you'll just know this couple of things remember I've got my text over here I just went I copied it before from on the Google as my dad would say so just draw a text box there go paste that's all my text I'm going to go through just while I'm talking to you and take all the double returns out I'm just double clicking because we don't want we remember we don't use double returns I'm, oh, I'm just clicking twice to take those out that's us yep so these ones take these guys out and this text, I'll do this in a minute. I may as well keep going now while I'm at it. So I'm just double clicking on the actual returns and get rid of all that shenanigans that are in it. So you can see that's my text and it's just standard working with text. It's really common. While you're at it, you might want to go select all, open up paragraph, turn hyphenation off. If you know it's that point size, you could make it that point size, but the first thing is just turn hyphenation off because it's just rubbish. You know it's all going to be Helvetica. I don't mind what Helvetica is close enough for me. Helvetica Light will do for me. You know what I mean? That's kind of, I've just changed all the font. While I've got it in one box, I've done that at one. So this is really standard. Um, just to, this is a text box, not a line. So this first one, I'm just going to draw a box over here. So I want this stuff. Where are you? This stuff. What you want to do, a really good trick, is all my text is in that box there. So if I want to be clever, I can, you know this already, I can come to the outside of the box, I can fill that white so I can see where my text is. That's just good things to know. But this is a really good trick. This stuff here, in here, um, what you tend to do is if you copy that text from that and if you go edit, cut, it's good. So you know that once that box is empty, all your text has been used. So into this box, go select all, command V, which is paste. It's really helpful because you're going to have big text documents and it's going to be going into other stuff and it doubles up or you miss stuff out. So as a rule, it's a really good thing to take it out of this box. So when this box is empty, you know it's all done. So this stuff, just stock standard. This is really simple. You know all this now. Put your box in the right place. Remember what we didn't do? In this case, we didn't click once on the cursor and do our, our thing because if that would have just run all the way along. So this, this stuff's going in a box because it's kind of more box related. So this stuff, I'm just going to make already um, bold condensed, already can new so. And that's as bigger point sizes. Remember, got this is really just stock standard stuff. Command shift great, um, greater than on your keyboard is that for that one. This stuff here is bold. Just go through, this is really good. This is what you want to learn. This is a biggie. I want to move that Ronald Licker down, right? So I want to put my cursor in there. Type, fill with placeholder, ah, show hidden characters. I've got a big ass return there. So as long as my cursor is before that thing, what I want to do is go to paragraph and space after and push that down to there. That is space after. That's 
putting that's moving three like like that. if I've got those bits of type there, if I put space up here, it moves all those down in and it doesn't change it. That space after letting squashes the letting out. So that's what we want next. So that was space after, and then this guy is letting. So that's character, and that's 12 point on 14. So if I squash that down, that does the lines. Does that make sense? It's really, really, as a graphic designer, it's just ridiculously important that that's what you do. Let's get about 13, a bit more letting, that's good. And it's all white, so select all, just white, all good. This stuff, I'm not going to do this absolutely word for word. This is a red box. That's just stupidly easy. I would probably just draw a box the size of that. Just keep it outlined for now so you can see where the lines are. That's just a box under your pen tool. There'll be hundreds of ways to do this. Add an anchor point. I'm going to add one there, there, and there. Go to the direct selection, grab the middle, bring him down. That's that one. I'm going to fill that bad boy red. So swatches, window, swatches. Where's that nicer red? That kind of red. Yep. Send that to the back. Off we go. Just, just standard stuff. You'll smash all this. This one, this is going to go, this doesn't go in the box. I would do that separately. I would just draw a line for that. Some things work, some things don't. So just with your line tool. Hold shift down, come across, that's just a red line. Yep, too easy, that's just that. Make it a bit thinner than that. One, the default of a line is quite thick. When you do key lines on boxes and stuff, it's always too thick. So that one, all this stuff, you know, option shift him down to there. Great place to shop. Come across, across to here, where are you? That one. So into this one, delete that one. I want that stuff, I want that one. So command X. I probably wouldn't put this in a box because I might be squashing it and doing things with it. Everyone's happy the way I'm going? Is this good? All right. So this one, I'm just going to yeah. click yeah. once, Command V. You get into shortcuts soon, so Command A, select all. I'm going to center that one. That's pretty close to the font that's above it. So what I would probably do is just click on the eyedropper, click on that stuff. It'll give me the font, not the color, but it'll give me the font. That one, I'm going to center that one. Um, it's a little bit, it's actually capitals, so in character, I've got capitals, it's a bit smaller, letting's a bit less, so really good exercise, this stuff, just be getting into all this, yep. So that is there, it's actually italic, you can see underneath it, I could have also, because I didn't put it in a box, because I just clicked once, I can actually stretch that bad boy down, and I can stretch it out. Last thing I want to do, that's italic, so Helvetica, um, there you go. That's pretty good. Remember, when, when this is done, you won't see what's behind it, but that's that's pretty good. Right, this next stuff, that's in its own box. You can, if when you get really good, just draw that. They're just little circles and stuff, but don't do that at the very end. That goes for everything that you do. When you're doing freelance and doing work for people, if they give you this job to do, don't spend 20 minutes drawing that little basket. And then when the boss comes back and she says, what have you done? Well, I've drawn a basket, just do as much as you can and then go, oh, I've done all the job, but I've just got the basket to do. It's a real, you've got to show the client that you've done a lot of work. That makes sense. Don't just do the hard stuff first. This is text. This is just straight up. I'm going to come across. I'm going to get my text, which is all this stuff. So all this is going to be in one box with no double return. So I'm just going to cut that out of there. And this, you're going to be clever here. I'm going to draw a text box there. And I'm going to do one there. Okay, so this stuff. I'm just going to go Command V, which is all my text. I'm going to get the text vaguely right now. So I know that text is about kind of eight point would do it. It's probably t about ten point. You can see in that. Don't worry, that it's, it's kind of that's pretty close to lining up. So if I go select all ten, that looks. You can see underneath there. There you go. I reckon that's 10 on 11, if anyone wants to know. That's that text. And there's some space after paragraph. So go to paragraph formatting, and we'll just move that down. So that looks pretty good. Remember, as long as it's kind of close. And that's helpful because I've gone Command-A, which is select all, which means I've formatted all that text in one go. Regardless that there's more text in that box, I've done all of it. If you had have just gone from there to there and changed all the stuff, it would have only changed what's in that box. So get used to going Command-A, 
doesn't matter how much text is in that box, you could have 30 pages that are all linked together and you know that they're all fits. This is just text stuff. You've done this over lots of it. So that drink wise one, just click on all that one. This is character related. If you don't have all those little capitals and stuff down there, it might look like that. See my characters just got kerning and stuff. The little hamburger menu here. Bah, 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 bah. Where is it? Show options. And there's capitals there. So there's capitals. It's going to be bold. One, And it's going to be red. I think it's red. If you want to get super clever, you can condense it in a bit. And that will be super. Super. You can tell I've been at the coast by myself for the last four days. Anyway. Right, so we're getting somewhere. That text is looking pretty good. The next thing you're going to do, which is really clever, you've done this already. That little red box there, this little critter here, that guy. All you want to do, I've got a box there already. Oh, oh don't do that. I've got a box there. I can put it straight into that box, but I'm going to do something different. I'm going to click on the little red guy, and you can see. You've got to do it a couple of times. It's a bit weird. So click on it. And you can see my cursor now has got like a little kind of squiggly dotty lines on it that says um, you've got text connected to this box. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to draw that box and that text will run across. So that text is now running across two boxes. Sorry, Gav. Yeah, mate? What did, you, what did you click to get that option? Yep, so this guy. So you know, yep. you, you've got a box and you know that it's freaked out because it's got that little red square yep. there and it's going, yep. oh, what do I do, what do I do? So all you have to do... It's a bit fiddly, you've got to be right on it, but um, you've got to click on that little red square box and see my cursor's turned into like a squiggly, like it says there's text on my thing, and it's still there, I haven't clicked anything yet. So if I do this one, and if I just draw that, that's the next box. So do you hold down shift or... No, no, or just something? click on it, just no, click no, on no. it, it's all you just do. Click just on it. Oh, yeah, okay, cool. click on that, and we'll do it again. So this last bit... You can see. Destroying the box to start with. Oh, you could have put it into a, an existing box if you knew exactly what the boxes were. So that's a good question. So sometimes you're working in a magazine or you're working in columns. So you 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 might be like this, and you've got all these boxes at exactly the right size, and they always have to be the one spot. So you can click on this stuff. You can go from there, and you can go from this one. Where are you? is that fit in that box? So I can click on that one and then go across to that one. Does that make sense? It. Yeah. No, no oh, dragging. No it. dragging, V. No dragging at all. I've got my little thing ready to go. I've clicked on the box and I just click on that box. Oh, no, sorry. I click on the edge of that box and it will go into that box. Okay. It's, it's when you're cool. doing magazines. Yeah. You, 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 yeah. yeah we'll, we'll, we've got all dated. Like when we're doing it, well, I'll show you again and again. So, Thank you. So what have I done here? What's happening? Oh, that one. You know how I do stuff. I'll just smash it out, then we'll go back and do it slowly. This space after, I can't bang on any more about. So this here, I've got, you can see based on this one, it goes, it stops at the word drinking. There's stores and there's these numbers here. So I've got to find the word drinking here. So put your cursor before the word drinking. Use space after and push that down. Don't worry that it doesn't line up with mine. It will be. Some people were all over it. So this stuff, all these last four lines, these are all going to be bold condensed. So what I'm going to do, get used to trying to do as many, instead of doing one of those lines at a time, we're going to do black condensed. We know the word stores. There's capitals. It's slightly bigger. So we know employees is the same. So click on the word employees, click on the eyedropper, and click on stores. So you, you get used to doing things easier so that 1402 i know that that's bigger don't know the letting just yet we'll fix all that up that's that's bigger and it's red so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to fix up my letting because it's all gone pear shaped because i set an exact space between lines what i want to do is go back to this one and make that auto and then they will all just give it its own it kind of divides out where it should be that's a little bit confusing but i'll come back to it you can see now my text is too big here. It's way too big. So I'm going to go from here across to here and probably make that nine point. That's get much closer. See what I've done? It doesn't, because I've done it that way. And if I'm really smart, I'm going to drag my, this box up a little bit, which is going to push that line over. And that's pretty That's pretty good. Even for me, that's, that's, that's spot on. So this stores word, 
So then we're going to start to play. This is a bit fiddly, this one, but it's good. So this 1402, I'm going to play with the leading. I'm going to move that up to there. This is all just a bit of mucking around. So this one, this 5993, click on that one, click on the eyedropper, click on the 1402 because we know it's the same size. That's That was kind of even, even I'm impressed with that. Um, don't talk just for oh, no. oh, yeah. Sorry, quickly. So, no, you're um, right, mate. Whenever you want to like uh, uh, move the text from one box to the other, like like kind of like when you do a return yeah. on the keyboard, so you don't use paragraph or anything. You just play around with, with the, the space height after of the box. Yeah, that, I did that in that case. So this, if I drag this box down, all that stuff will come back. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. Or but, if it's I, technically, but it's technically two boxes, right? So yeah, yeah, for sure. This box could sit over here. But they're connected somehow by yeah. text. Yeah, is that right? and the reason they're connected is when you do magazines, you use this more for InDesign, but when you do uh, like big books and stuff like that, you've got 30 pages in a magazine. You don't want to, if you want to make the text orange, you don't want to click on one box and say, I want that to be orange. You want to be able to command, go Command A or select all and select the whole book in one go. So sometimes you want but, boxes linked together. Right, but we did draw two text boxes to yeah. start with. Yeah, yeah, so, Can't, yeah, we did, but, we did, yeah. But in this So the only way you get them to connect is by adding the text within yeah. the first one and then yeah. clicking on the, on the red cross. Yep, yeah. so I'll show you this one again. One. Yep, so I've got two boxes. So if I delete that box, so I've just hit delete, and that's gone. The text inside the box hasn't gone at all, just the box is gone. So all my text is in this box. So if I click back onto that little cross again and come back up here, and if I draw my box, it'll just come back again. Right. Okay. Cool. Well, Thank you. So I'm going to do the pie chart now. Can I, I may as well keep going, then this is all done, and then we'll go back and I'll give you a hand. But this is really important that you watch this pie chart. So that's the text. Remember, we've got all lesson to do this, so we'll go back. So this, I've got, oh, what's this shenanigans here? When you get older, you use the word shenanigans a lot. So this here. Right, I'm going to do my uh, pie chart first. I'm going to select this pie chart, total emissions for Australia. So this stuff, I'm going to copy that or cut it out of that box. Come across to my pie chart over here. This is a biggie, so if you're not watching, please, please, please watch this stuff. I'm going to draw a box here. And I'm going to put my text in there. Command A, select all. It's pretty close to that type, so I'm going to use my eyedropper. Click on that type. Might be a bit smaller. No paragraph spacing, you know what I mean? I just did that just to get it as close as I can. It's probably a bit smaller than that, but all this, even if this takes weeks to do or months, you just this is what you're getting good at. Is this is tight basically? So that's really small. Let's say seven point. Letting's a bit less, so that looks about right. It's very small actually, so that's about right. All good. Um, these 60%, this total emission, I'm going to go Command X, cut it out of that line, put it up here, put it into there. This one is bold. It's just text in and out of boxes. That one goes here. That one goes here. Does that make sense? That's all we do. I'm just we're just drumming it into you. Oops. That that's how this works. That sits in there, Australia. That's going to sit down there and be the right size. I'll fix that up. Make it the right size. This stuff down here. There's a few things going on here. This 60% I've got to put at the end of the line. I'll show you how to do tabs in a minute. It gets a bit tricky. So these ones for now, I'm just going to put that at the end of the line. That's that. That's just straight formatting text. We'll come back to this one in a sec. I don't want to confuse you too much in one go. But just for now, that's just going to go into there. 5%, 15%. So this is the bit. There's videos of this, so I'll do this quite quick, and I'll do this again because you won't be doing this for a minute. So what I'm going to do now, that letting is going to fix that letting up a bit. That looks pretty good. Right, the next one, this pie chart, I've got my figures, 60, 25, 15. This is really easy, but so just you have to watch this. There's a couple of things you have to know to do. But under the, the in here, there's bar charts, column, bar, this is the pie graph here. Click on that one. Hold shift down and draw a square. Draw a circle about the size of the pie chart that you want and let go. So what it does is it automatically opens this stuff and it's just stupidly easy. We'll fix the size later on. It automatically opened that. So I'll just go undo that one. 
So come back where we don't have it. We'll get rid of him. That does weird. That, that's a bit weird that it kind of has. So this one. Go away, you. Yeah, this is a funny, this is a screen thing. What it does is it seems to overwrite the old one, but that's okay. So all we want to do is click on the pie chart, just draw a square to how big you want it. And up here, it automatically opens this one. So I know that the first one is 60. Hit tab. The second one is 20. And this is the coming from these figures down here. Hit tab. The next one is 5. Hit tab. The next one is 15. And if I hit the tick, it'll give me a pie chart. That's it. That's simple. Sorry, Gab. So you, so you have to do it manually. You yeah. Can't, You've got to put the figures kind of in. Like paste all this stuff like if you have one that has like yeah okay yeah you have to yeah okay. you can convert excel things to pie charts but yep. it doesn't it, it gets a bit weird it doesn't love it and i've got this weird screen glitch on this one that that's still there we don't know why it just is so if i close that one that's my pie chart see i can't move this one it's a funny thing well, it, it would that's for another day but this one you can use your eyedropper to change the colors so click on the eye click on the direct selection tool click on this one and we want that to be red we want all of these guys, so just click on this thing. All these strokes and fills are the same. So that is going to... And the next thing you want to do, you can't cut the middle of a pie chart out because if I want to change this, we'll do a lot more of these down the track. These are really clever. If you right-click on that pie chart and go to data and the client comes back and says, oh, the electricity board is now 62%, you can change that to 65 or whatever it is. Hit tick. And that will move. See how it moves? So you can edit a pie chart. It's wonderful. So close that one. Don't, if you don't remember all this stuff, and that doesn't matter, we'll go through this again in about an hour by the time you get up to it. That's your pie yeah. chart. Hold on, just two seconds. I'll just quickly do You can't cut a pie chart out. So I want another circle. I want to go from the middle of the pie chart. Option shift out. That's just a white circle. And that's the inside of that one. And I'll do that again right here. All I did was I clicked on the pie chart. I held shift down to draw a perfect circle. And I typed in there my figure. So I've got 23, tab, 12, tab, 8, tab, and 19. And hit tick, and it will put the figures in. That's all it is. It's really, really simple. And the bar charts are exactly the same. We'll do more of these later on, but I'll just show you quickly now so it's in this video. So I've got this one. I'm going to, I don't want pie chart, I want bar chart, column graph tool, this first one. So if I draw down to there, I want here, I want 60, I want 85, I want 65, I want 52, and I want 90, and hit that, that'll give me those. Okay, and then from that, I can close that one. And from that, if I want to do colors and things like that, it's all just a matter of just using the eyedropper. You could do that eyedropper. You could take the off that one. You can click on these guys. So if I click on that column there, hit I on the keyboard, that's red. If I click on that one, hit I or eyedropper, that's that color. If I don't want strokes on all of these, click it all as a whole and just turn the strokes off. Or these ones. So it, that's it. So it's really, really simple. All that one is, we'll do this again when you get up to it. But all I did was I just went over to here. I just, um, there's a lot of different charts. I never use them. It's really just the column and the pie chart. So if I can click on that one and just type in there 78, 90, 45. I'm just hitting tab, tab, tab. 56. And hit tab, that will go, that will make the thing. That's it. It gets right into it. There's a lot more detail. I've got to close. Squares, What's that, Mona? The squares next to the... You have to manually do them. You can do them. There's a legend you can do them, but it's a bit of a pain. You just do them manually. And the way I would do them manually, just for this case, because you want... You can, you can do them using them, but they don't look very good. So the way I would do this one, you've got all your colours there. I would just keep eye on your keyboard. That's the red one. So then these guys, option shift this down. These are graphic designer chart, um, pie charts, not information ones. Does that make sense? So you want to, you do want to make them look good. And the way you can, it's a bit 
it, yeah, it's not a word processing thing. It's more making them look good. So maybe you've only got to do all this once, and then you can just change the stuff. So this second one, eye on your keyboard, is that one. This one, eye on your keyboard, is that one. So get used to And all eye is, it's just eye dropper. So this one is that one. I may as well do one last thing and then I'll shut up. This is getting right into it now, but this stuff here, I want I want to put a tab in here. So just hit tab on your keyboard. Tab, tab. You can see, because I've got show hidden characters on, you can see the little double tabs there. You don't have to know how to do this. It just doesn't hurt to show you. You could just hit space. So align them right I'm about, about to do it now. Separate the text yep. and, and, and make them like create a new text box. On the right side and align them all the I'm going back. to do it now. I'm going to do it now. So this oh, one. Sorry. Yep. So I've just put tabs in there. And if you go type, it's Command Shift T. It's Window. Type. Tabs. This is, it opens a tab bar. You don't have to know this. This is getting a bit more into it, but you might as well know it. All I did was I put a physical tab in there on my keyboard. I opened up the tab palette, which is up here. Window. Type tabs and there if I put a tab there it'll line them all up with that tab and if I move that tab it moves them it'll move them across to here that's getting a bit too into it but that's that's not that's good to know so and that, from there sorry how do you align all the percentages to the right I just did it oh you could just do a right hand tab so I go back into this stuff go command yeah. shift T good question you and I used a left hand tab, I want to use a right hand tab. And that the oh. right hand tab and that will put them across to here. All good? Excellent, thank you. So that one I'm gonna stop recording now because that was ridiculous.